worship before God. He's looking at you tonight. The Lord is looking at you from the throne. Go ahead and worship him. In the name of Jesus. Can I give a gift this night? Can I give somebody a gift? Lift your hand if you want the gift. All the people that rude, they were, they rude from what I call a guiding thought. I said they rude from, yeah, something is called a guiding thought. People rule from guiding thought. From, yeah, that a thought should guide somebody's life. If you look at the book of, the book of um, Malachi chapter 3. Somebody supposed to see Malachi 3 verse number 16. He said, and a book of remembrance was opened before them. This thing has guided my life. He said, and then that fear the Lord speak often one to another and the, the Lord hearkened and had it. And the book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and taught upon his name. Now, when I discovered that books are written for men, it affected me. Now, it helps me to be careful about what I do. It helps me to know that I'm being watched. Or guiding thought. One other day I know where the, I saw where the Bible says whatever whatever is bound on the earth is bound in heaven. And again it affected my thought. I say again it did what? It again affected my thought. It mean people reign from guiding thought. Something you know. I have few sons who understand this. So, when you see a woman or a man that understands guiding thought, they speak emphatically. They say something with authority. They say, we know why we do it. They will not say, we can't stop doing it. They will come back and say, because we know why we do it. Now, it's a fellowship. I know what will happen after seven days because I know from guiding thought that God will reward labor. If you are from a family that respects elders, it will guide your thought. You don't wait for somebody to preach to you about respecting elders. If you are from a family where people appreciate knowledge, it will guide your thought. If you're from a family where people are conscious of the way they live, it will guide your thought. If you're from where people, you know, don't talk carelessly, it will guide your thought. Is somebody listening? Is somebody listening to me? Praise the Lord. So before us tonight is the hand of God. I, I, I have this guiding thought that Okay, for instance, yesterday I spoke to him in there in the house. Uh, not in the office, in the office, not in the house, in the office. I said, I grew up and what pass was emphasized to me was holiness. Living right, which is okay. I say holiness, living right, which is okay. As I grew up, I discovered that God does not relate. It doesn't crown you because you're holy. God crowns your productivity. He crowns your usefulness. When he asks me to give a man of God a seed, he, I, he doesn't tell me to give a seed to a man of God because the man is holy. It's not that. I give seed to a man's usefulness. What? Huh? You give seed to a man's value. It is somebody's value that you appreciate. It, that simply means your usefulness 
should guide the way you live and it should not put holiness above use above usefulness now this is why the church is not moving forward because they keep on saying we are holy i say excuse me the earth need your usefulness now holiness helps you to live right to be useful not being holy and somebody is somebody is lazy is unproductive i have seen i have prayed for 28 years i have met many unproductive believers who are coming to church to fold their hand in the name of holiness it grieves me it puts me off so who come to me over there you know lucas and they've always believed in me they say shepherd we give our life to you i say excuse me he's not giving your life to me that i care about I care about your usefulness. Don't give your life to me and fold your hand. And hang around me. I have a lot of work and that is my interest. My interest is not your life. My interest is my work. That we call it, this statement is, is throne statement. There are throne statements. I said this statement is is of throne. It's a throne statement. Now, God had to kill his son because of gain. That means he preferred gain to the life of his son. He said, if it are you, we go, you are going to build the heavenly kingdom. Dying or not doesn't matter. You have to die. You see, because what I want to get from you is more important to me than your life. It's a mentality. Yeah. <laughs> so, what I said has guided my thought. So, when I am here tonight, I'll be saying, what can happen out of this meeting before four o'clock? How can I add value to myself and to the army? I didn't come for religious exercise. And I want to help you to understand something. If God come to you in a dream and said, take a seat to this man and kneel down before him, don't find fault. Trying to look for fault from somebody God have, God have already asked you to respect is a great evil you see because God have reason he has already told you to do that and then there is something the man has already produced that your fault seeking cannot make nothing was I able to bless a pastor huh he cannot make it no he cannot make it nothing you see because if he has paid in case you don't know your father don't need to be a perfect man to be your father he just finished taking alcohol and come home and his daddy your husband just finished taking alcohol and came home and it's your head Church doesn't understand this. Huh? They, they, they say, hey, um, the, the Lord, you know, that particularly where I came from, where religion rules, people trample on relevance. I, I say, where? No, where religion rules. People make mockery of relevance. And then the land will dwell in pain. Because God does not, God does not dwell with the way you live. If there is no relevance. He doesn't care about it. Am I saying something? So, can you lift your hand and say, Lord, thank you for guiding my thoughts. 
There is something I know Everywhere I go Jesus Christ Never fail me Never fail me Jesus Christ never fail me. Oh, there is a wherever I go. Oh, Jesus Christ. How many of us know it's a kingly night? Do you have a thought that is guiding you? You are a maid in a man's house. Puff, serve the maid. Serve the maid. Serve the man as the best maid. And don't bring another thing in between that service. There is something I hate very well. I hate it with my breath. I hate people... I hate to see people who are around me who are not useful trying to see forward with people who are making things to happen. After you have made things to happen around me, I don't care anymore. I don't, I'm not a monitoring spirit. I'm not. No, I don't care. I want this thing done and you get it done for me. That's my relationship with you. Get it done for me. Get it done in good time. And they, excuse me, I will not care about anything. If I remember you, I will remember the walk. Because that is the only reason I will remember you. I remember, I remember people that walk the walk I want them to walk. Not people who are hanging around. Did you hear what I said? I don't care about any other thing outside, outside the walk. My friend, I want my book. I want, yes, I want my book. I want to go to Galilee with the book. Give me the book. And excuse me, if the book, if you hand it over to me, you, you get out. I won't care about where you went. Because what is connecting me to you is already what? It's already done. I say it's what? It's done with me. Now, giving the book and tell me you're the holiest man in Locust Army is a great evil in my sight. Because I will do nothing with that. If, I have, if I'm going to marry a wife, I will marry a wife only round about that. I will not do anything with any woman that reduces my value. I don't want to fall in love outside it. Excuse me, if I'm smiling with you, then it, you have done it. Because I don't have eyes to see any other thing. This is a throne week. Thrones are on its place of power because of relevance. I, some people persuade me that I should care about any other thing. They say, excuse me, we never. I don't know what I'm saying something. I said I because God doesn't he, he didn't make me eunuch for religious purposes. He made me a eunuch for gain. For what he wants to get from me. So the eunuch man is a workaholic. Are you getting it? Now, but when I was young, they said, we have to do this. Well, and then some people carry that up and down. Come to church, sit down in the morning, move around, go to place, talk stories. And you know, in Africa, because they, we, we don't have organized thinking, people, 
the mind of people is depraved. People do all manner of wrong imagination. They get mentally fatigued. Carry family load. Mix up things that should not come together. When I saw that girl, uh, that girl out there put her cap yesterday. I didn't know when I went to her and she was there at the time road. So I said, how do you do it? He said, we, that's how we do it. Wherever there is a story, there is success, there is a story. Now don't leave the story and talk about success. He, he said, he, that is how we do it in Zion. That we don't bring laborers to the church. And then somebody can see it. You want to speak? You want to speak in tongue around the walk that is going on? No, no, you can't speak in tongue around the walk. You have to walk, walk. If it's not walked, then if we didn't walk it, then it can't be walked. Praise God, Father. I want to thank you because of tonight. Because of tonight. Can you lift your hand and say, Lord, thank you for tonight. Pray and say, no altar of the enemy shall control my life. Can I ask you to speak it? No altar of the enemy. The altar of the enemy shall not control my life. The altar of the devil cannot control my life. Zakatoloro papataraska. Zendumaya kapana takaya. Lie karaduma santolo bine rede bosakalaba inda nama kaluskia can you pray and say lord open my eyes in the name of jesus something happened yesterday i came into my office and uh, that is this book i've been wanting to write following following uh, invisible steps to limitless height following invisible steps to limitless heights and uh, I, I know it's a book that will change somebody. I was telling him, I said, I said, when I come into the church and say, let's pray, use everything to pray. I said, four hours is a, limited, is, a, is a limited time. When you are in a church and the time is limited and we say pray, listen, you don't have the whole time. You don't have the whole time because you're under the influence of, of a limited time. Now, when the time is limited, you do maximum. Because when the time is limited, every one second counts. If it goes, it doesn't come back. And then people will either move forward or go back and as it goes. And then after so many years, people will either be happy or be sad. There is no human being that squandered his time that was not unhappy. No, no one human being. I said there is no, no, there is no one human being. There is no one human being. Uh, I, I, in ministry, the Lord told me something. He said, when you, when you become 50 years, I will show you a ladder you will climb with your back. That is, you will be going, you will climb that ladder without seeing it. Then he said, oh, that ladder should be climbed with infinite knowing. The spirit of infinite knowing. And I have been climbing ladder. Excuse me. If you want to be king, in a corrupt world you must learn the way of the snake and we came from a place where people don't care about the way of the snake anybody that want to run the race of life straight is going is going to have undeniable accident because there is no straight road to anywhere that is important it's not possible and those who don't have eye to see 
wouldn't know when to stop and bend. And they wouldn't know it. No, how would they know it? I said they wouldn't know when to stop. No, they wouldn't even know when to listen. They would be talking when they should listen. They should be moving when they should stop. Thrones, not tolerate it. And this is new season. There is nobody who is hearing my voice that should not enjoy the thing in an area. Am I saying something? I said there is nobody who is hearing me because you've not arrived to where you're going. Everybody that's hearing me should have a rethink in an area. Tonight, I have here that thrones are made from altars. Thrones are. There is no altar in Africa that is a reigning altar yet. The altar that brought us here is the altar of the altar that brought us here is the altar of Calvary. It was raised in the land of the Jews. I would like you to pray and say, Lord, make this night spectacular in my life. I break every altar that is trying to, that want to intimidate me. Cast shadow upon my life. Speak evil against me. Delay my life. I come against such altar. Can I hear your prayer? Every altar raised in my family. Every altar raised previously. Previously by the ancients. Raised previously. Glass court holy arakapatana. Every former altar. Altar raised previously. Against my life. Lord, I challenge the altar. Rakata la baskata nama. Altar of sacrifice are broken. Their horns are scattered. Every altar that supports poverty. Every altar that casts shadow on my life. Bring strange thoughts over my destiny. Visible and invisible altars. Let Calvary destroy those altars. Somebody lift up your own voice against altars. I lift up my voice against the altars of limitation. Class Sotoria Karapatana. Altars of shame. Nekotolia Scala. Altars that fight the rising of men. Altars that fight. The rising of men. I lift up my voice. Masukoto ya rakapata. Every altar. In the name of Jesus. Every altar that rise above. Every altar that support limitation. Every altar that keep a man down, cut him off from realities. All subduing altars. The altar that subdue men's thought and imagination. The altar that bar people from meaningful destiny. In Africa, an altar of manipulation or witchcraft. Let those altars catch fire tonight. Can I hear your prayer? Those altars you catch fire. Let the altars 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 Limitations. Let the altar The altar of death. The altar of infirmities. Sakala ya tarababa. The altar of infirmities. The altar of infirmities. Those altars should catch fire. Let them begin to catch fire. Lead the Alata or Sapanta. Naya la branda Sakatala. Lead the Balata or Sapanta. Sele de de la branda Sakalata. Brandy. Excuse me. Excuse me. I want to show you a scripture. It will help you. And then I'll tell you a story. It will help somebody here. Can you say praise God? Let me tell you that story. Now, he's going to answer that prayer you're praying. You see, because whatever God will do for you, you'll be part of 
doing it. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, chapter 2, 1 and 2. You might not write it down, but sit on the screen. There's something I want to give you a gift in a minute. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 1 and 2. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech, of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. Now, number two. He said, for I determined. Now, that word determined is a technical word. Not to know anything among you. Save Jesus Christ and him crucified. One day, one of my sons told me something that I will never forget because he spoke from this scripture. He said, Daddy, I say yes. He said, There are two things I know about you, and I relate with you from it. He said, Sometimes people are trying to tell me other things about you, and I will tell them that I don't want to hear other things about you except these two things. He said, I know there could be other things about you, but I don't care about it. That's a miracle. Now, when you are in a church or when you are in a relationship, don't care about so many things about a useful relationship. Don't get details you don't need in, in relationships. Particularly if it is somebody above you. Even if you are a married man, there are things you must not really care about your wife. Don't do that. If you are a married woman and you want peace in your house, there are things you must not care about your husband. Leave it, leave it for him. Leave it for that man. After the man have done the useful. Leave it for him. Apostle Paul said to Corinthian Christians, there are things I should, I, people are telling me about you Corinthian Christians. He said, and I don't care about it. The meeting just ended by four. And somebody met you outside the church and start telling you something you must not hear. You need to go home that time. If you go to a place, don't care about so many things about that place. Lest you get distracted. Did you hear what I said? Well, am I going to bless you? Understanding this thing is a blessing. I have rescued you. God asked you to take a seed and shoot into the life of a man. And he has been telling you, excuse me, there is a value in that man that is making demand on your making demand on you. Value. If I were you, I will relate only with that value. I will make a book on the humanity of Jesus. I will make a book on when I come back. Now, I'm going to make that book to help you. So that you will know that when Jesus was on earth, he functioned as a human being. And yes, we are worshipping him. And in that book, I will be telling you why he was pierced. He functioned as a human being. Now, when I say function as a human being, he functioned under the cloud of men. What I say, what I say he did. Jesus functioned under the cloud of men. And the, I will not explain it this night because you're already getting it. You get it in that book. You know that the office, the other office there is Pastor Israel's office at this side. And you were fetching water there at that tank. And the people were talking there. And you went there and said, What are they discussing? What are they discussing? 
excuse me that thing they are discussing is it is it not different from the water you are fetching excuse me mask i'm not i'm not asking question i said that thing, that thing you want to hear is it why, why you came there or that you want to fetch Excuse me. God doesn't make crown with useless materials. He doesn't make crown. No. Now, if somebody wants to wear crown, he should start sitting as early as possible. Those things in him that will not allow crown. And one of the ways to remove it from your life is to mind only what you're meant to mind. You're here to play jitter. Don't you hear another thing? Hey, have you heard? Have you heard? That girl that came to that choir, I, I had her as, she seemed very well, but I heard that she has gotten two children outside. Now, wow. And you, uh, you leave the jitter you're playing and brain, brain scatter. Obroge, obroge, barrie. Excuse me, if she had gotten two children, how does it concern you? It's not different from playing jitter. what Africa is doomed. But is, will it be easy? Will it be easy for somebody to avoid it if their life doesn't actually have value? I say if their life. I know that one of the prayers I will pray here is sand. Multiply. Now, that particular prayer is peculiar it's a prayer I shared with Jesus personally. Anointing to multiply fishes and bread is a personal anointing I share. It's an anointing I share with Jesus. It's a personal anointing to me, ability to multiply things. I share it with Jesus personally. So I have, in case you don't know, today is already Wednesday, and I know it in my spirit that this program will soon end. And then someone wants to distract me with things that doesn't concern me. All that begged at old age invested their life on things that doesn't concern them. Father, the altar of evil and confusion that devalue men, that make people to invest their time and life in the villages do you know why do you know why they say that girl is a lawyer do you know why she said do you know why she's a lawyer huh? do you know why that, that young man is a cardiologist is a medical doctor when we enter university in 1986 we we have general course so i brought from mathematics borrowed from biology borrowed from environmental sciences in year two, they took me to department. So that I can study only physics. The, and then in that year two, I took some course. Like in mathematics, because physics and mathematics is closer. But then I didn't take from biology again. I was able to take geophysics. Because physics and geology is related. In third year. I took only from mathematics. Mathematical physics. I didn't take from geology again. God narrows people down to wear crown. I will tell you in this program. So one of the ways to deplete people's life is to get them busy with things that doesn't concern them. And I will not do it this night. You're going to say, Lord, I cry against every altar. A particular altar that is against me. Not all altars. Every evil altar that is close to me against my life. That close altar should cast fire. Can I hear your prayer? Don't fight every altar. Find the one that is close to you that is against you. 
that is against me. A particular altar close to you. Every close altar. Every close altar that is against me. Let it An altar that is against you and the close. Fire tonight. Let it get fire. Be devoured by fire. Every close altar. Last God, holy and rakapa fataya la baba. That is against me. Every altar against you and is close to you. Every altar against you. And that altar is close to you. That altar should catch fire. It is a particular altar. Hey! Brondia la katala ya sakatana. Lerie gredo sakata. Ye de grede la kakapata sakata. Somebody can you? There is a close altar. There is a close altar. There is a close an altar that is closed. Hey! An altar that speak against Christians. Somebody, I can hear your prayer. A close altar, an altar, an, an altar, an altar. A close altar. Kalara patan sakata la raya ba. Can't fire, can't fire, can't fire, fire, can't fire. Be destroyed. An altar around your office. An altar around your village. A particular altar. The altar in my mother's village, in my mother's family. The altar of snakes. Close altar or snakes. Roko the that the blood are alive. no stand. Somebody, can you start smashing the altar? Can you start smashing the altar? I smash the altar. I smash the altar this night. I smash the altar this night. I smash the altar this night. This night I smash the altar. I smash the altar. Tonight I smash the altar. Tonight I smash that altar. I smash that a full altar. Laria Koseketeliaba. Somebody lift up your voice. In the name of Jesus. 28 years of years of preaching. I have I know so many believers that they use their life to pray all manner of nonsense prayers, scatter their prayer. When they say we need peace in Lagos, they should gather at uh, on the town hall. They will go there. Three days. Three days of prayers. And then they say, Boko Haram, we want to come to Lagos. Three days prayer. They will go there. Excuse me, those prayers end in pain. I tell you. It must end in pain. Trying to use your life to do something that you must not do. It's lending that life to Satan. He's handing over that. I'm going to make you pray one prayer, two more prayers before I preach. He's lending that life to Satan. Try to sit down with someone who is telling you nonsense. He's lending your life to a fool. Somebody wants to open your eyes in a negative way. You're sitting down. You're sitting down with that fool. You want to go find local I mean, There are things you must know now about this church. Mind what mind you if you come here. And if you want to relate to with people, check their value first. Because people who their life has been have de depleted terribly cannot mind anything meaningful. Huh? They can't. And they want to wear crown. Crown is even for confusion. To confuse people. It's impossible. Father, that altar. I know.
know there's an altar in my mother's house called Oguwaje and the snake. Every day, I don't know whether that snake is dead now. The dog died yesterday, but it had to die again this night. A reptile. He makes my cousin that side take alcohol, make them a lot of them senseless. Do you know the pain of minding things you're not supposed to mind? After the meeting, you carry yourself to my office. Excuse me, for about 10 years, people have not told him in dream because they know he gets me angry. Say, but I, I saw I saw one thing. I said, You're gonna see for yourself. Can you take your hand and knock your head? Just busy body. Tomorrow I'm going to teach on the bleeding horned lamp. I will talk about how how Jesus, how the lion and the lion, lion of Judah and the lamb died together. When the Bible said he's a lamb slain, when he turned, he saw a lion. I will tell you what happened. That's why I want to call him a horn. Uh, there is no lamb that have horn. So, yeah, you know, I'm safe for mysteries. Now, when I come here, I start asking my brain. He starts sending me tests for reception. For what? For what? Am I, I've not told you that I want to do writing. I have not told you. <laughs> in a, in a punch him this for what? Is it for me to forget what I want to write? <laughs> I'm not thinking about you. <laughs> now, now these are wickedness I read in Africa. And then somebody say people are poor. Why wouldn't a man whose life is taken be poor? Father, the snake buried under the earth. The altar speaking. The altar speaking in our families. The altar speaking in our heavens. The altar speaking in our mother's house. In our father's house. Those altars should cast fire this night. Can I hear your prayer? Altar of death and poverty. Altar of shame. Altar of misery. Misery. Every altar of misery. Every altar of misery. Every Limitations. Against us. Lord, by the blood of Jesus. Oh. In the name of Jesus, prayer point number two. Wherever there is a relationship that will last, relationship is established around usefulness, not around religion. And that's what I wanted to pray. Joshua connected to Moses with a, a spirit of a warrior. And Moses connected to Joshua with the ability, with the testamental ability of a man. And that is the basis for the relationship. And then, between Jesus and God, the basis for the relationship is go and die. It's, it's established on usefulness. Now, if somebody meets you after the church and he says something that is not usefulness, don't worry about listening. Now, you're going to pray this prayer. My life took a new turn when God told me that this is what I should do for him that will connect me to my destiny. He didn't tell me to do everything. He told me something I must do that represents my value in his sight. Usefulness. Write the vision down. Read it and run so that you will not be distracted. If you provoke the guardian angel of your life with distraction and confusion, he will not help you. I say, if you distract the guardian angel of your life, this I'm telling you is why some people are suffering. You 
took Bible, you took your Bible for evangelism and they forgot why you went out. And then you met a woman and she started distracting you with story. Excuse me. Hearing what you are not meant to hear is not tolerance, it's foolishness. You know, I say this because you know I'm immortality. So I know what kill people. Don't say it's cut, it's cut, there's no cut in it. Stop him immediately. I'm telling you what you need to hear and go on with your life. Thrones are not associated with confusion. Is somebody hearing me? I'm not associated. Write the vision down. Make plain. Look at that and run. Why you should write it down is that it will help you to run. You came here to come and join rod. Join rod with another rod in the morning. And then you suddenly start, start, start seeing something that is happening in the compound. Are you here to join rod or, or to look or to look? If I come out of my car, I will look straight to my office and enter there and sit down. Because I'm not going to be here in the morning to join rod. I'm going to be here in the morning to do writing. Because it is that writing that connects me to God. Not joining rod. If you want to go far in life, you must understand it. You must understand that the only thing that can make me remember you when I come down from here is usefulness. The only way, the only reason I will remember you when I come down from here or when your phone ring, if your phone ring bleep, 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 on my phone and it's your name, what comes to my mind immediately is your value. Your value, that, that means whether I will take or not. Don't forget that you're not in my mind though. I say you're not where? You're not in my mind. So I can think whatever I want. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Every strange power, every power that fight honor in my life, fight honor in my life including, including confusion, that power is cursed now. Power, can I hear your prayer? Every I mean, minding things you should not mind. I mean, minding things you should not mind. Apostle Paul said, I will mind only Jesus. Let that power be the I am going to mind only Jesus. I am going to mind. I am going to mind only Jesus. Sakatalia Rapata Sakatala Baya. Prosecutolia Rakapata Sakata. Neto Seketelia Rakapapa. Listen. Listen. I want to thank God for the privilege of immortality. Hear me as I give you this gift. There is no human being that died that didn't go astray first. Let me say it again. There is no human being that died that, that was not, that didn't stray away from the path of life. So that is a, a meditation. That is a meditation that strays somebody away before he dies. That date starts from a thought of distraction. I preach immortality. For, I preached for about 18 years. Made books on the way series up to 12. When I come back, I'm going to make the fatherhood of immortality. And I just finished a rebirth of immortality. So I know immortality. Now, people have to go away from the path of life before they can die. And this thing is not, doesn't start practically. It starts with conversation. Self-fellowship. I feel like shouting. Poor people are not in charge of themselves. They walk up and down, tell stories, hang around places where they beg for things. How can a beggar stop straying away?
if you enter into a man's house to beg him money, are you in charge of your life? Huh? You must stray away. You have to do something to please the person you're begging money from. And I curse that begin habit. Whatever that diminishes the life of people shall be destroyed. Can I hear your prayer now? Shall be destroyed. Shall be destroyed. Shall be destroyed. Shall be destroyed. Let abundant fire come down from heaven. Abundant fire of the angry God. Abundant fire. Abundant fire. Abundant, abundant fire. I command fire from God. Grah! To consume you, you deplete yeah! that deplete the life of God. Yeah! Galay de Gadada, if you to be this. Oh, Galay de! You deplete. Moses Gadeli Araka Kapatana. Let the blood of fire come down from heaven. Oh God of life and immortality, let the blood of fire. Let the blood of fire. Let the blood of fire. Oskata na rato patikaya. Netuske ne bidola takaya. Ola da gigi gigi alaba. Soto loko pete kete kala prada. Destroy the valuation. De destroy the traps of darkness. La sotoria raka pa 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 ya. Whether the altar is hungry in heaven or hungry in the sea, God, let them be consumed. Let the power. Let the altar be consumed. That they play the power. That they play the power. Most sotoria raka pa. The devil. The devil. The devil. Hey. Hey. Jesus. Manso kotoli araka papa tasaka. Naya da 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 baba ya talala baba. Sele de de ya. Sele de de ya la da baba. Sele de de ya la la baba baba. Sele de de ya la 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 baba baba baba. Saka tolo rieke ke pata na ya. Ah. Somebody begin to amen. Begin to curse every power that amen. If you are made for honor, begin to say, Lord, I curse every power that distracts men, every power that that distracts people from places of honor. I curse such power. Such power will not work in my life. Can I hear your prayer? Every negative power that distracts people. All distracting powers of darkness. All satanic confusing powers. All wicked powers. All wicked powers. All wicked powers. All wicked powers. All satanic powers that distract people. Somebody, fire! I cause the power. 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 God of miracle. God of life and immortality. Zekatakala papata la payada. Every distracting power. 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 That deplete the energy of people. Every distracting power. That fight honor. Every distracting power. That fight glory. Let our power be broken. 
Satu narabaya. I will never mind any other thing. Apart from Jesus. I will never mind any other thing. I will never mind any other thing. I will never mind any other thing. Last so I will never mind any other thing. In the name of Jesus, I give you a gift. When Kenetagin became a preacher, Kenetagin, and people started inviting him because he's a great teacher and an apostle. People started inviting him to Africa to preach. Kenetagin looked at them and said, You see, you see, you see, you see, God didn't ask me to come to Africa. Excuse me, until the man died at the age of 90 something. Kretagin didn't enter into Africa one, one day. Yet, when I was undergraduate, I had his books at Joss, not even Lagos. His book reigned from America. So I'm more like rejoin them. Rejoin them. When the journal was women was inviting here to come and preach, the journal didn't come to Africa one day. And now listen, those that came are not more popular than them. Those that came are not more popular. How many Americans are more popular than Kentagen? He didn't come. His book came. His books came. Ah, excuse me. How will you know how many where they know? How, how will you know how many how many places people know me after producing two hundred books and, and eleven is about to come out before Sunday? How will you know? You can't go everywhere. You can't be everywhere. You were born for one reason. If you wear crown in the week of thrones, you will wear crown for only one reason. Joining, joining all that reason to that one reason is committing suicide. Joining what? Joining what? Excuse me. I, I, I just saw the fifth mark. And I saw police. I saw Pastor Caleb. Is he not telling you that the world is coming to one place? He can't, can't somebody connect to me now from Germany? And if the guy can connect to me from Germany, why will I go to Germany? When I told, when I told South Africa, they said, I should go to South Africa. I said, excuse me. I said, I'm going to hold a program for South African people on this altar. Hold for Ghana. Three, said, three days crusade for South African church. Where? Here. Ah, I should go to South Africa. What program is already going on? What prevented them from connecting? So I will go up and plan will be shaking me. Plan will not shake me. You open your ears. Shake me up and down. It's not me that is waiting to shake. Excuse me, I spoke it from perfection. That's what I said. Any other revelation is smaller than this. The king, the king didn't come to my village when he was alive. He didn't even go to Africa. And after he died, I started following him. You should, we find out what happened if we want to go far. You will be happy with yourself by morning. If this thing I'm talking about make meaning to you, it will make you conscious of people when they come to sit down with you. It will make you conscious when this meeting ends and somebody meets you outside. Ah, you're gonna pray and say, Lord, I refuse every confusion. I refuse every distraction I refuse because every I must wear a crown. I refuse every distraction. I refuse. Every I must wear a crown. I refuse every distraction because I must wear a crown. 
I refuse every I must wear crown. I refuse every day. Crown cannot come because upon I the head of confused people. Because I must wear crown. Re tata ya tata. Re peto so tata. Lord, I refuse It's not possible. Lord, I refuse every confusion. I will never mind any other thing apart from Jesus and Him crucified. I refuse it. Hey, hey, Senator. I will never mind any other thing. I will never mind any other thing. I will never mind any other thing. Let that go better, Kalapata Kakaya Papatanaya. I will not mind any other thing. Re pato so koto ya, re tu galada o bata kada osa osa polota o bata. Some don't mind, don't mind any other thing. Le kata ya, don't mind any other thing, don't mind any other thing. To be confused, I refuse to be. Don't mind any other thing. To be confused, re de 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 de, re gada da da da, re kata bado so. You will not mind any other thing. Wait. Excuse me. Can you look at me? Six months is far away from miracles. If what I just said is understood. When the Bible says in 27, 24, 27 that Jesus minded only what was written concerning him, that means if Jesus go to Psalm 3 and open it, if nothing, if nothing was said about Jesus in that Psalm, he, he will move away. Some of us, you go to read Psalms that didn't say anything about you. You go to read Zacharias. Even some of those Agog and Magog in the book of Ezekiel. You see, some people still go to read it, even when they don't know what he's talking about. And they said, when you ask it, they said, we have finished Bible. For Jesus' revelation three times. Nonsense finishing Bible. Did you, was Jesus interested in finishing Bible? I said, was he interested in finishing Bible? I'm asking somebody. He, the Bible said in 24, 27, that he went to the Bible and read things that concern so how many times have you involved yourself with things that so can you begin now to reduce your life to things even if they give you a microphone to preach anywhere let me ask you listen when you hear a mess a preacher it is not preacher it's not a mess. every preacher that have mandate is a living is a living mandate it's a living message if you don't like holiness, why will you invite Kumui? Because you already know that Kumui is holiness. That so the message is Kumui. And that's why deeper life went far. You, you don't want glory. You don't want kinship. You don't want immortality. And you're looking for? You're looking for Chris Christian. what I represent and I, I am already the message that is why I don't need to shout before grave close I need to walk I need to come pass through I said I need to pass you don't want money you are fighting on have narrowed their life and then war they are wearing the crown wearing only one crown you've gotten it now why some people cannot wear crown is because their life is scattered i don't know i don't want to get somebody offended but there are people i know here i, I, I can't remember anything that is positive about you apart from you're looking at me the only thing i know about you this night is that you are I will not cast you are expert in sweeping church. I'm going to hear my. I don't know anything. Or just you're looking at me. And then something that things are irrelevant are taking that life gradually. They will not eat those things will take your life. John the Baptist is there. Apostle Peter. Apostle Paul. 
Jesus. Elijah. This is how they are clear. Who somebody says, Shepherd, you're prolific. I see vision. It's clear. I tap it Bible with a with an eye I serve. There is one prayer I would like you to pray that concerns us. Father, because I'm a, I, I'm a king. I am a king. Whatever that is good around me, by the spirit that multiplied bread and fishes, I, multi I command that thing to multiply now. I command that thing to include in money. Somebody let me hear prayer. By the spirit that multiplied bread, by the spirit that multiplied fishes, Father, whatever that good around me, I command it to multiply. I command it to multiply. I command it to multiply. By the your hand i'm seeing it why i sing that song i see it in two ways a vision ah, I am andana. I, I see it that the lord is showing me I see this way that people are clothed. Somebody who came naked, discouraged. I don't know what happened. But the Lord asked me to say there will be no leanness in Zion. Zion shall not be lean. Zion shall not be discouraged from the headquarter in eternity. I bring new robe to cover you. 
to cover the army. Now, make you larger. Make you larger. You know, that lady, I saw that you are clothed and you are larger. I saw a lady clothed. She became larger. And then, it is a symbol of prosperity. You are larger. That's what I saw by the eyes of prophet. The eye of the seven spirit. I, the Lord says, in Brana. Can you lift your hand with me? And say, Lord, all the locusts, wherever they are that are meant to be larger, larger, clothe them with a bigger robe that they might not be naked anymore. That they might be bigger than who they are now in a practical way. Sikana, can you say it quietly? I prophesy to you. I prophesy your increase. A, a, a lina or prata. That is one of the ways I saw it. That you are larger. Uh, can we pray to the people? Wherever they are, Lucas Army World. Wherever they are in nations. Let them be larger. The hour of new glory is come. The hour of change of robe. Bigger robe. There is somebody I'm seeing you. A bigger robe is coming. A bigger robe. A bigger robe. A robe of wealth. It is actually enlargement. But it is coming like a robe. The Lord said I should prophesy. The enlargement of people. So I speak the enlargement of that woman. I speak the enlargement of that church. Chris, Christian, be enlarged. I speak the enlargement of Locust Army Wall. It is like Anene Okara Kapanandi. Sakatono Bilia Grada. From heaven, you are enlarged. I can't hear an amen. Church, your amen is not resounding. Allah. God will make it bigger. He will make it bigger. Bigger. Somebody say bigger with me. I say you will be larger. You will, the angel he said it's available. It's available here. The amount of money you have controlled in your life. If I am man of God, somebody will be larger. This night, this night is kept there for you in the record. It is part of the nature of this year for this army to be larger. That to to that to that man of God to 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 to. To that locust, speak to you from the altar. The amount of money that is going to come into your account after this meeting, that kind of money have never come into your account before. C can you say amen to that and believe it? Lift your hand and say, Lord, let me be larger. That is what I saw. Can you begin to say it? Let me be larger. Now, Karania on Sarah, on Sarah, that is what I saw. That is what I saw. I saw somebody who is lean getting larger. There, there, I, there is a support around it. Sakana Brendos Calaba. Can you say, Lord, I let me be larger? Samoto Scala. Samoto Scana Batala. Zipre no Kapata. Keep saying amen as you pray. Zikana and Toraska. Andamus Katia Kalato Meskana Chris Christian Lian Kradomaska. This is a work I do with my life. Let it speak. Sakatonia Akaspono La Karia Askana. Somebody get larger. Speak a tongue for change of rope. Skla to Rabana Mandorona. You will not serve your enemies. You will not see shame.
doors shall not close against you. Hear all Nigeria. Open the door for local army. Give local army her place. In the name of Jesus. All oh, Astro Rock, all oh, Lagos, all oh, nations. Give local army her place. Give local army her place. Give local army her place. Somebody say, I take my place. I get larger. Can you talk in tongues? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Amen, Lord. Amen, Lord. Amen, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ah, Maskela. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, take away this season. Bring in a new season. Thank you for enlargement. Thank you for kingship. Thank you for multiplication. Sakatana Laba. In the name. I lift your hand. I still I saw as we were praying. I saw I saw in a vision where I, 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 what does it really mean? I somebody God just turned you. You are like walking in a way, and he said, Turn. And it's like you refuse to turn, he forced you to turn. And then short while in that journey. You meet people that you need. That's what I just saw. So God is saying there is need for new contacts. And then I also saw, I saw, I saw the angel of wisdom. The angel of wisdom bringing a new pattern. And say, listen, do it like this. And then go on. Father, is there anyone that needs to be turned? Is there anyone? Then let that woman be turned. Amen. Can you say amen and hear yourself? Amen. I say you shall be turned. Amen. Excuse me, it's not possible for you to reduce after being in this meeting. Because I'm already, an, I'm already in this altar on behalf of God of life and immortality to say to him let him add to you. Dranusara, Dranuskana Dranuskana You see you shall eat in plenty. That is what I spoke in tongue. Dranuskana Your water shall be enough. Amen. Amen. I say your water shall be enough. Amen. I say your water shall be enough. Amen. Lift your hand and say my water shall be enough. My water shall be enough. Praise Sotrono. Sotrono Brana. Sotrono. Sotrono Ma. I saw an angel of miracle. Lord help us to believe in the next level of prosperity that is coming. Help us to believe it. I saw another level of prosperity coming. Amen. Let my heart be ready for it. Amen. I also saw another measure of miracle power Amen. coming. Lord, I receive my let my heart be ready for it. Amen. Therefore, let blind eyes open now. Amen. Let creepers walk now. Amen. 
Let the dead come back to life. Amen. Somebody, you shall be large. Amen. Can you lift your hand and shout a big amen? Amen. Thank you. Thank you. You may just be, may be seated. I welcome all the locals, not only all here in Lagos, all the locals that are watching. Let's clap our hand for ourselves everywhere in all the branches. I saw Potako Church. Clap your hand for Potako Church. I saw Abuja Church. Put your hand together for Abuja Church. I saw Kanu Church too. Yes. I saw Enugu Church. I saw Bedside that Kanu. Put your hand together for them. Amen. It's just quite awesome. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Doesn't end. Keep clapping, keep clapping. Keep clapping. Can you clap? Are you stingy about clapping? The hand is not on borrow now. Praise God. Tonight I'm going to be sharing. I want to start sharing on thrones are made from altars. Thrones are made from altars. Revelation chapter 8, 3, 4, 5. The book of Revelation. The book of Revelation chapter 8. And another angel came and stood at the altar. And another angel came and stood at the altar. Having a golden censer. And there was given we, to we him. Can, we can see it. Revelation chapter 8 3. And uh, another angel came and stood. Pastor Solomon, I really appreciate it. Another angel came and stood at the altar. The golden censer. And there was given to him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints. Yes. On the golden altar which was before the throne. The Bible said there is a golden altar that controls the life of that throne. That is why the altar is before. The word, the word there before means preferable. It means us. It means origin. Before. It means that that altar has the life of that throne. That is the word before. It means that the glory of that throne is upon that altar. Now the Bible said the altar is good in just to just to show the value of the throne. It is the good in nature of that altar that makes the throne powerful. Now when you hear good, it means that the altar is preserved, made valuable, the best, gold, admirable, preserved, immortal. That is altar. Before the throne. And then he said, Smoke of incense came with the prayer of sin, ascended before God out of the angel's hand. All these things that happened that went to God passed through the altar. When I see a young man, you will not, it will not be difficult for you to hide your source. You see, because you're, you're, we live for our source. So when we see your value, we see your source. Let me say again. When we see your value, we see your source. Now some people don't care about source. But you know source is everything. So the Bible says in verse 5, and then you took the censer, fill it with the fire of the altar and cast it to the earth, into the earth. And there was voices and thunderings and lightning and an and, earthquake. And earthquake. That it was, these things you see that happened was activity of that altar. It's not God made, it's man. I'm going to go into mysteries to tell you that anywhere, anywhere there is a throne, it was a man that built it for God to sit. God cannot build a throne in the midst of men. It's not possible. And all thrones are built from altars. 
Believers don't know this. I'm going to make you look at two scriptures when, when I'm through with this in chapter, in chapter 9, 13 and 14 of the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 9, the, he said, and 13, he said, and, and the, the sixth angel sounded. And I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden four altar, horns of the golden, the word golden again is, came. Saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet. Golden altar, which is before the Lord. Now that altar was before throne in chapter 8. 9, 9 is before God. That means that God is on that throne in chapter 8 narrative. If you must go far in life, you must know how things work. There can be real, actual boldness, enduring boldness. If we don't know, if we are not learning in principles, that is understanding how things work. Now, you don't get emotional about how things work. You study how things work and you follow things as they work. And then the principle protects you. You ride upon the chariot of that principle and you come to excellence. You know how it works. Because principles don't fail. It will never fail. Now, it, it, now that is, if you look at number 14, it's saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, said, lose the four angels. Which are bound in the a great river, Euphrates. Now, now that is, that is it. Golden altar before the Lord. Golden altar before the throne. If you look at 2 Corinthians 5, verse number 10, the Bible started talking about judgment seat of Christ. That is Bema. Can you look at that? Now, now, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that which he has done, whether it be good or bad. Now, if you look at that judgment seat, it's a throne. Now, the Bible didn't say anything about the altar that produced it, but this, that throne came from Calvary. You don't talk about judgment or rule until you talk about the altar that produced it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you say, praise God, let me give you a gift. There is nobody that cannot be great if he invests his life properly. Now, they say the difference between those who are great and those who are not is just investment of life. You can see. I told somebody, I said, there is no blind great man. Because all of us have, we have 24 hours. The difference between those who are great and those who are not is the use of time. What do you do with your time? The Lord told me, he said, listen, if you don't save three months and produce 11 books through it, it will go. <laughs> so, so I lay hold on the, on, the, on the 11 months with the three books so that they cannot go. I, I told you now that four will soon come. This is the two. But when you say four hours, it will start going minute after minute. And then as it goes, some people take advantage of you, those who are learned, to rule the world. And those who are not learned, we waste it. That is why religion has so much offended people. Because religion is saying, don't care about yourself. God will do it. Don't mind time. So people, instead of producing rich value from themselves, they abandon themselves to God. And when you abandon yourself, God will abandon you. It is a value you produce for yourself that you depend on to serve God. So there are no, no valueless servants of God. Huh? Did you hear what I said? A amen. And you cannot serve beyond the capacity you have. You can't, you can't serve beyond the capacity. You can't serve beyond the capacity. So if you look at that 20, 2011 
of the book of Revelation. 20, it, it, why I do a lot of teaching is because there are two things. Number one, the church has been wounded by the angel of darkness because of the way they believe in a lie. There is no guide. And it's showing. It's showing everywhere. People are swindled carelessly. Showing everywhere. Now, if you see that throne in 2011 of the book of Revelation, he said, and I saw a great white throne and he that sat upon it with whom? I said, from whose face the earth and heaven fled yes. away and there was found the place for them. The source of that throne is an altar. That throne you see there, that throne of judgment cannot come until an altar is before it. And then God had to produce altar before that throne. Now, if that throne, if that throne is that thing the Bible says it is, then that throne is a man's throne. If it is, listen, if it is men that will come before that throne, this throne, men that will come before you for judgment, then a man must sit on it to judgment. And the, the man that will sit on it to judgment is a man that paid for it. Now the man produced this throne from an altar. So the nature of this throne controls the altar and the price that must be paid to produce it. 100 years to come, 500 years to come, this thing will not change. That is why we don't separate yesterday from today. Tomorrow I will tell you more. That it, the, the only reason the lion will come is because the lamb just not didn't only die, he died and rose. So the destiny of future is in the past. Huh? You are here this night and you are awake. Somebody will enjoy it. I don't need to tell you. Because sacrifice can't be denied. One day, that is what I'm God, that's why I'm reading scripture. One day, one day somebody who is hearing my voice will become a world apostle it must can be denied you become a name in the world people will hear about you they will they will shoot her because of glory because this altar will give you increase we are here because of you the anointing has been distributed it's still going on you, you God does not give it to you and deny it. Am I saying something? Am I saying something? So plan for 10 years. Plan consciously. Get ready for the kind of future that you want. Work hard. So I said, the life and power of every throne is tied to the particular altar that produces it. So when you say a particular throne, you're talking about a particular altar. And then a particular king, a particular priest. I say a particular. Don't, don't, don't forget, the word is technical. Particular. A particular altar. If we are living from the altar of Jesus, I want you to find you. I want to tell you something. What what altar produces you? And what altar, what altar has produced what you're looking for? Do you know that there are so many things we are asking the altar of Jesus to do? And uh, it is not there in that altar. So it can't happen. So if that which we want must happen, the lion is still coming. I'll talk about it tomorrow. On the bleeding hand, hand lamb. The lion is coming to raise up another altar. To finish the work of God on earth. So if you want to know how far you will go. You will know it in the altar of your source. Because it is what is provided there. 
that you will run with. So I say altars are more important than thrones because they are both the source and sustainer of thrones. Priestly sacrifices pave way for enthronement. If there are no sacrifices, there will, no, there will be no enthronement. That is why before God could raise David, anoint Samuel, he raised, I mean, anoint Saul, he raised Samuel. He will say to Samuel in 1 Samuel chapter 16, he said, fill your home with oil and go to the family of Jesse. I have a king there. Now, David had the qualities of a king, but the kingly anointing of David need to be provoked with the priestly anointing of Samuel. That is why, hear me. Can I give you a gift? It is not good for a man to be alone. It's not only concerning marriage. There is no man on earth that doesn't have a partner. Let me say it again. There is no man on earth that doesn't have a partner. If you have if you have a destiny if you have a destiny ah, you actually have a destiny. There is a man you must see his back. Allow me to come down to explain it to you. I, I, this is I'm about to repeat. It's a gift I'm, I'm giving you. If you have a destiny, there is a man you must be following. That is, when the man removes his feet, you put your own. Now, there is no human being without that. Now, this I'm trying to tell you. Deliver young men from error. Of claiming that your anointing is unique. There is a man you must be following. Following that man simply means you are seeing the man's back. That means there is a walk the man is, is going to leave for you to do. From his back. And then because the man cannot see his back, you are the one that is seeing the man's back. To do the work of that back. Now, the back of the man represents the work that man can do. Now, it's also, sometimes it, it can represent limited revelation of that man. That is what the man can see. I say, what that man? What the man can see? Because if you're following a man, you're following, you're seeing the back of that man. And nobody sees his back. Now, that makes you seeing a man's back create offense for people. Huh? If it is back, there is offense in it. That back means limitation. If the man has back, then it's limited. That is why if you're looking, if you're reading that book on third eye, I said, oh, the half third eye are 360 degree people. It's a chapter there. Huh? Three, 360 degree. People like Jesus, people like Moses, people like... Let me come back to something. I... Please pay attention. I know we need this. And this and I'm saying I know we need it. Sometimes, you know, we, we are tempted around it. Miriam and Aaron saw reason to talk against Moses. He married an, an African lady. And they're Jews. They didn't like that. And they approached the man from familyhood, familiarity. <laughs> But I would like you to hear something that will bless you. Can you say, Praise God? Let me give it to you as a gift. In every anointing, there is a humanity. Leave.
receive the humanity of the anointed. That humanity is part of the anointing. That makes him man. Get out of it. Leave what you're seeing at the back and give him service. Don't forget you're following him because there is something you need from him. Mind only that. Because he's your better, he's in front. Being your better does not mean he's perfect. If you don't get very careful about relating with that back, the back becomes an offense to you and you will move forward. Excuse me. I would like you to hear me. It's not a doing, it's what the man already has that you need. And then don't forget that God cannot force that man to give it to you if he has paid. Let me say it again. God will not force that man to give it to you if the man has paid. If the man has paid for it, it belongs to that man. So don't even go and say, God will command him. Even if he hear God, he can choose not to do it. So there is so much that has to do with human will when we are following. Tonight, have I not opened your eyes? Do you pray? By telling you, don't be one person. If you're here, you're a lady, there's another lady that God must bring your way to make you up in, an, in a way. The, the lady is going to make you up with what she has. And God says, you need her. Now, needing her does not mean she's perfect. But whether she's perfect or not, don't ignore what she has, which you're connecting to. And she cannot be imperfect in that which she has. <laughs> ah? Ah? She cannot be imperfect. He cannot be imperfect in that which he has. So I said, God had to say to Samuel, so, you don't remove Samuel from David. You don't remove John the Baptist from Jesus. You don't remove Elijah from Elisha. Joshua from Moses. They did their learnings. So, that is how you are. We are talking about largeness. Maybe that cloth, the Spirit of God was talking, maybe it could be a man. So I said, it is the sacrifice men make that connect them to the place of rule. Since thrones are produced from sacrifice made on altar, the power and relevance of thrones of thrones is determined at the altar. So you, power is not about shouting, it's about give it. It's about sacrifice. Drop it at the altar. It belongs there. Because of what it will give you back. So God depends on sacrifice of men to establish his government on earth now. If God wants to rule on earth, the day I know this, it affected me, even when I was writing this, it affected me in a new way. That it is what men provide that God depends on to rule. In other words, God rules through men, through the value of men. That's what I've just said. I said God rules. Huh? Excuse me. All the people that their name we are sustained in the Bible and in this contemporary time, their names we are sustained from 
their relevance. And can I tell you why they were relevant? Very early, they understand preservation. They didn't scatter themselves. Gabriel will go to Zachariah and say, John, we not mind two things so that he can be a man of honor. When he left Zachariah, he went to Mary and said, Jesus, we not mind two things. They will not mind. Jesus will not mind two things. If you are 30 years and nobody knows you, 35, and nobody knows you, then you've minded two things. You've minded so many things. Do you know why some names are disappearing? You see, because some men are minding their family. They, 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 they bring their family before vision. When they bring their family before vision, before vision, confusion will ruin their family. Because the guardian angel of every family is a visionary spirit. Let me say again. I said the guardian angel of every family. So you cannot bring your family above your vision. Because your family live for your vision. And it is the angel of vision that guides your family. That simply means you can't do something wrong because of family need. It's it just like just like you're a pastor and you are serving on an altar and you're offending the angel of the altar because of the need of your family. The angel cannot supply need continuously. If the angel, if the, if the, if the pastor, the man of the altar, is taking what belongs to the angel to, to do something wrong with that because of his family. And that was the problem of Adam. Adam ignored, you need to hear me because I preach immortality. Adam ignored his personal relationship with God. And the work God gave him to do, which was the only reason for marriage. Huh? That particular work is the only reason for marriage. And then after Adam married, he took the marriage above the work that the marriage is meant to live from. And then he died outside. Don't you see? If you bring your family above vision, you will not know what your children should live for. Huh? That is why the, the pastor, the child, the son of that man of God, popular man of God, is a medical doctor. And he's not ashamed of himself. You took away your son from the only thing that took your life. It should be a, it's a terrible shame on it. If God call you, and the anointing of God is in you, and you have a call. You cannot move your son from the service of that altar that took your life. Assuming I am I, I'm married and I'm shepherd, and a boy, I, I, maybe the boy is 20 years, and every year, 20 years, the boy hear me preach. And then I want him, and then I, I want to grow him an engineer. So that in the morning he will go to do work outside and leave this altar. The boy's altar is already tied. Huh? The guardian angel of his life is the angel of the altar. So he should follow the angel. So, so that priest, that priest that, be, that was eating communion in the womb, that was eating communion in the womb suddenly started counting money in the bank a, a, somebody who should be a bishop of a soul of souls of men left bishop his soul left to go and count money, ordinary money a 
any other interpretation we give to it is satanic in case you don't know there are so many big churches that we don't know what they believe in and uh, at the end of the day grass will not be preserved the glory will fade that is why we are having husband and wife ministry now every day when the angel came to you did he come to you as a family man or as a man so you're telling me the guardian angel of your life came 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 to you came to you and your wife at the same time you see what you're telling me i say full of radicalism he said he said he said honey can you come so that we can bless the church evil You're trying to make that girl what she's not. What she will never be. Because in, in Jeremiah chapter 1, 5, you're the, you were called in the womb. And she wasn't there. She was not called with you. You're the one that brought her. I said she was not called with you. You're the one that did what? You're the one that brought her to your calling. That is why if, if she's not here like us, like Apostle Paul, we go on. I was not called with any woman. So there is no man that was called with a woman. It's a wicked theory. I, I'm not saying she cannot sit at the pew and, see and, and do some managerial work that can be done in the human level. As someone who you have imparted. And can I tell you something? Huh? Why the church is confused is because things that doesn't have praise is being praised already. There are men of God who are God have not blessed, but they swell up a big church. And we know they are not candles. We know that uh, if anything happens to them, and it will, because they are not protected, it will. Then the, 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 those noise will end. In a short time. But we know ministry like Elijah's ministry, like Moses, like Jesus, who will transcend that will transcend time. So if you get you're careful, be careful about what you're following. Ah, how did it come into the mind of Adam to forget all that God told him? Death will not death will not have come into the destiny of man. That wouldn't have into the destiny of man if Adam have left Eve to go out of Eden on her own. And no be Adam, no be Eve that ate it. She should go out. I said she should. And in case you know, hearing me, 90% of the men that died on earth were killed by women. Ninety-eight, ninety-eight percent of the men that died on earth, not even ninety-nine point nine nine. Let me ask you to listen. Marriage is not bad. What is bad is giving your wife a place she doesn't have. We have so much to learn from Enoch the boy. Have so much to learn from David Oyedebo. Have so much to learn from Kumuyi. We can see them. And then I, I was in Dobera. These small, small ones. Ah, excuse me, let me ask you to listen. How can a woman continue for a long time without bringing emotions? Oh, yeah, okay, you're not married. <laughs> How?
How can she continue for a long time? In the first place, did God tell you, call you and her? And the, can't you understand there is a place you should, you should stop her if you are called by God? You stop her there and give her what she need. That you might protect her and her children. Stopping her there means protecting her. Because the guardian angel of the altar will never serve her. I don't want to get offended with a man who went out of the garden because of his wife. The heavenly throne was established by the sacrifice of the bleeding lamb. Jesus had to bleed. So whatever that God will achieve on earth is established by sacrifice of men at the altar. Alright, let me go on. God built his altar with the sacrifices of men. It is the sacrifices of men that provide the throne. Now, that thing I try to analyze now is a gift of God. It comes in the, from the realm of perfection. If you look at, you know, like Bishop David Ojede, we see his children are already preaching. Even his daughters has married pastors in living faith. That's organized living. Huh? That's an apostle. Huh? That is understanding. Huh? You mean you didn't teach that boy something? Your son, maybe you have a son and you're preaching and the boy stayed in your, your wife's womb and then she was born. He was born eventually. And he lived in that family 20 years as you preach continuously. And you have boldness to make that boy get another job outside. Huh? After eating communion, why he's in the womb, stay in children's class, stay, stay under the baptism for 20 years. Is there anything left for him? Is there anything left for him to do outside? Huh? Huh? No, nothing is left for him, even if he's a girl. There is nothing that is left for that girl to do outside. She already got her job. Other things we fed is magical. In the first place, the angel of the altar that her father, his father saved, can't follow him outside. And then the boy was born because there's a space in the family for his assignment. Huh? I said there is. There is a space for him. Huh? Is it not Phineas that you javelin and keep him? Phineas. Grandson of Aaron. Ah, Bezalel is not from Uri. These guys work in the temple. They were around Moses. If you look at Bible story, when Aaron died, I mean, I mean, uh, do, do you know that Eliezer still served as a priest with Moses? Eliezer, the son of Aaron, when Aaron was no longer there, Eliezer took over the office. The son of Aaron. And then Phinehas was following. Now, the anger Phinehas used in throwing javelin was because they were custodian of the destiny of Israel. The, that journey was in the hand of some people. Including the grandchildren of Aaron. I said that journey. You know, it was, it was a family journey. It was a journey of some people. Aaron was there with Eliezer and Phinehas. Basically, they were coming from Uri. They were there in the team. The men and their children were in the walk. And then you are in the walk, you took your child outside. Except you don't believe in what you're walking. 
And if you don't believe, please leave the work if you don't believe. I'm awake. I'll be awake for seven days. I will not believe in throne. Why will I come here? It's impossible. I said the heavenly throne was utopia throne until Jesus paid. When the word utopia means God gave it, but it was not, it has not manifested. Someone have to pay. Now hear me. There are so many things God gave us that is in the utopia realm that we have to pay. A lot of blessings. They are still there. So I said the heavenly throne waited for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ to be established. It existed. It existed. It is there. But it couldn't function until the price was paid. Until, until it covering happened. We are as powerful as the sacrifice that is in charge of our lives and destiny. Please pay attention. There is no magic about future. There is no magic. Sacrifice measures the distance. Let me say again. Sacrifice measures the distance. Now that's why when they were saying, "Ah, Shepard, you get married wife and have children," ah, I said, "If I have family now, I will not be a pastor today. I won't be a pastor now." That means I have truncated. I have. I'm out of the way already. According to what this mandate represents. if what I'm seeing is there, it will happen. And that I have a wife and children, then it will no longer happen. Because that is a condition. I don't know why somebody is getting it. I said there is. There is a condition. Now sometimes some people don't care about that condition. They get emotional. Sacrifices of meaning of men give both God and Satan the place of rule on earth. Now, anywhere you see that Satan is manifesting strange power, men paid for it. Anywhere God is manifesting power, men also paid. The manifest men pay for the manifestations of God on earth. There is nowhere that is fire men didn't pay. God, there is no fire of God on earth. Every fire that burned on it is fire of men. But you know, but it's a fire that men raise in the name of the Lord. But it is it, it doesn't it doesn't make it God's fire. It is still men's fire, but but produced in the name of the Lord. That is why if there are great manifestation, then there are great tasks. Then people have done something unique. Let me say again. He said, anywhere there is great manifestation, it means that people have done, people have willingly done something unique. People, not God. People. So if what I said is correct, can't we do something unique? Ah, people have to lose their lives before Jesus can come as Lamb of God. People have to. Last night I was talking to pastors and church workers here by the side. I told them, I said, they what the stage of local service, we know that it's making demand on us. Avoiding the price that we need to pay is delaying us. It's not God that should pay it. Huh? We want this church to progress. We should do a strategy. Is somebody hearing me? Excuse me, a strategy don't need to be convenient. You have to do a strategy. And nothing, nothing is as outrageous as avoiding extra things when it is necessary. Don't avoid it because it will be very bad. I said through sacrifice, humanity put on the divinity of God. Nobody remains the same after a tangible sacrifice is made. Throne, the heavenly throne was built on the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. God will depend on what we get, he gets from us. To establish whatever he promised you. That's what I'm looking. It's beautiful. Can you write it down? Now, it, when God made a, make a lot of so 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 and so promise, so so and so promise, I will do this, I will do that. What he will do is he will start making demand 
on people he has promised those things because it is what he gets from you that he will depend on to fulfill the promises he made that is something i said before oh i said yesterday let me combine what i said i said i said before if you mind value in your life it will help you to reduce offenses i say if you mind if you mind value value will preserve you value is producing value from your life is more important to god than your character we should have good character to produce value because the relationship between us and God is a, a value relationship. It's based on value. Now what if you're a preacher and people must look for you? They don't look for you because, because of your character. They look for you because of your value. Now character helps you to preserve your value. Ah. When God said to this man, he said, go to this man and sow seed. Go to this man and sow seed. God asks you to go to that man to sow because of the man's value. And then it is God depends on the value of that man to bless you. Am I saying something? Now men produce value when they preserve themselves. Am I saying something? It is not possible for those who are preserved not to be valuable. It's not possible. Vision. When vision makes you immortal. An angel put on your face. And then people come in to drink from your water. So I said, there must be something you have to give God to give you back what you want. God must get it from you before he gives you back. Now all the people that didn't give it, didn't get back. They keep on saying, God will do it. God will not do it until he gets it from you. Ah, When the Jews wanted the Messiah, they produced Jesus. Ah, Jesus is not a stranger now. It was then that gathered together and then cried to God. And then God said, It's not me that will do it. They produce a Messiah. When it was time for them to leave Egypt, they produced Moses. This is, didn't, it didn't come from heaven. It was, it was their pain. It was their pain. It was the travail. The pain of taskmasters that helped them to forge the spirit of Moses to emancipate them. So if a family, anytime God wants to move a family forward, like Lucas and the family, the, the principal people of the army should come together and do sacrifice that should meet, move the army forward. Ah, huh? The principal people, they should do sacrifice. Not everybody should do sacrifice. Those that believe that the army is their destiny should come together privately. And when, when, when they showcase it, other people who soon see the glory will come. And like, I know in Galilee, in the Passover service, that there is new year like 2021 in Lucas and new year. It's a blessed year for us. It's a, it's a project here. A lot of wonderful things will happen. People will explode. People will build houses. People will buy new cars. People will have fat account. Fat, fat account. I just know it. There's no year that like that. Now there are people who have not gotten a house now in local Sam. They will still get before the year ends. They will. I said they will get before. No, they will get. Excuse me. If what I'm seeing is correct, they will get. There's a move like that. I said there is there is a move like that there is a move like that i said there is there is a move like that and that is why we are here now we are awake no we are not awake on religious reasons no we are, no it's just to say god do what you promise us god loves us because of all that he must depend on us to accomplish that's why i keep on saying somebody say love there can't be love without value the person that killed his son will not love you if you are not useful. 
I say he needs us the way we need him. I say God need the way we need him. Why? I, I said God depends on men to assess terrestrial glory. I want to show you two types of glory. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And that or that glory, God has only one in it. And so each time he wants the other glory, he waits for us to give it to him. <laughs> so this is First Corinthians chapter 15. So give First Corinthians chapter 15 is a beautiful scripture of a straight 40. You will see something I want to show you. Then you don't play with your life. He, he said there are there are also celestial bodies. And body terrestrial. And body terrestrial. But the, the glory, glory of, of the, the celestial is one. And the glory of the terrestrial is another. That is it. Now, if you look at this scripture, the celestial body, glory, belong to God. But the terrestrial, that is the one of the earth belong to us now each time god want to enjoy that one he doesn't have he takes our nature <laughs> i say the, he, he, because he doesn't have the terrestrial the god will never have the terrestrial that is why when Jesus wanted to come to the earth, that coming needed two types of glory. I mean, Christ. Don't forget that Christ has been there from the beginning with, with that celestial glory. But the Messianism that will involve men will require both the terrestrial glory, the celestial glory, and the, and then so Christ came to the earth, start looking for a man that have terrestrial glory. So he found Jesus. So when they, when his divinity mingled with the humanity of Jesus, the man Jesus became completely God and completely man. And then in him was the embodiment of both the celestial glory and the terrestrial glory. And then the Messianism, that Messianism was needed to be accomplished by the two glory. So that is why angels, angels honor men, envy men because of the terrestrial glory men enjoy. Now, if you have Christ in you, you are enjoying two glory, two glories. The celestial glory of the Christ in you and the celestial glory of the Christ in you and then the terrestrial glory. That is why I say each time God says, I am a mortal, I think it's in this course, it is men that makes God a mortal. Somebody is about to. Somebody is. <laughs> so I said, I said here in the course, I said, the opportunity God has to be immortal is man's opportunity. Because immortal means that God used to be diable before. But now, he can't die again. So, immortality is produced from mortality. Just to put I am, that is the omnipotence of God, into the mortality and then it's converted. Now, so when you see that kingship in First Timothy, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, who only is immortal, dwell in light, that is human activities. 
So I don't, I don't know where it's clear. I said, so those who ignore all that God must depend on them to achieve on earth, we never enjoy the dominion of God. Jesus paid for his enthronement. If Jesus paid for his enthronement, God will wait for what you will provide for him before he enthrones you. Did you, did you know it? I said, God will. And what you will provide is not everything. Don't think of giving God everything. Ah, Joshua was following Moses. And uh, with all the obedience of Joshua, loyalty to Joshua, Joshua knew he wasn't Moses. Ah, that you are local pastor doesn't mean you should be like me. Why you are around is because of something I can do. That's why you are around. Something. Now, don't look for my job when I'm around. Do your job. With all the strength of Moses, Moses was not more of warrior like, like Joshua. Ah, huh? no, he can divide Red Sea. He can make locals come, but <laughs> he to take over that one kingdom. Happier for Joshua. <laughs> hey, Joshua Joshua will fight and fight and fight and fight until blade, sword will no longer drop out of his hand the, drop with, the, the, the sword will fasten on Joshua's hand and become part of Joshua's hand that was an ability Joshua was born with eh? but to write the book of numbers <laughs> and then you know somebody said God of Moses offended God God took Moses out of the way when the work that was left was should be Joshua's job it was just there so why do you think that you're not relevant you want me to give you a microphone to preach when, when I'm still here The reason the Lion of Judah has not come to the earth is because those who God will depend on to intrude them have not paid. There's something I said here that I wanted to see. It. You will like it. I say, God, if God need the blood of a man to declare the heavenly kingdom, it is not possible to estimate all that God can achieve through man. God needed the blood of a man for his heavenly kingdom. That means God need man's blood in heaven. May, may God help you to think about it. That God needed where? That is how powerful man can be. So I say, what God will do for us, we depend on all that sacrificially, we sacrifice provide. You cannot be more relevant than the very sacrifice that connects you to God. You write it on your paper. You can't be more relevant than the very sacrifice. I say, it is the sacrifice of the Son of Man that enthroned the son of God. Understanding the inevitability of Calvary stopover. I say understanding the inevitability of, of the Calvary stopover. I say it would have been it would impossible for Jesus to rule and reign as king of kings and lord of lords if he had not provided the Calvary, Calvary stopover. Calvary was a place of tears and blood where the man Jesus paid for the heavenly throne. So I said, God depends on the sacrifice of men to preserve their lives and values. If there is no sacrifice, there will be no value. And can I say something? Getting ready for sacrifice determines the value of sacrifice. Because Jesus had to be Christ before he died. Those who avoid necessary sacrifice will never have place in God. To avoid necessary sacrifice, to share covenant with death and destruction. Where if you see any life, any man that died young, his life was misstudy taken. What happened is that he gave Satan more than he gave God. He disconnected from God. 
and was serving Satan more. And then Satan had an upper hand. Huh? If God have an upper hand, you can't die now. If God take more of your life, some things will never happen. Don't forget that everything that happened determine everything that happened represent our relationship with either God or Satan. Am I saying something? Let me say again. I say everything that happened represent our relationship with either God. Now hear me. Please look at this religion. A lot of people go to church and believe they are devoted, but they are not really serving. You cannot serve without sacrifice. The beginning of service is, is, is sacrifice. Going to church every Monday, join Usher, is not as important as what you are giving to God. Join security, join choir, no. What are you giving to God as you are joining the group? What are you giving to God? It is, it, it is possible to join group without giving anything to God. Some people join group without even getting involved. You are a member of the choir. You came there every when they say choir service on choir practice on uh, on, on 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 Thursday, you will not come. Choir practice on Saturday, you will not come. The, the emergency choir rehearsal on Sunday morning, you stagger there and join at the back. Now, excuse me, <laughs> that, that is, and, excuse me, that is not just that is not that. <laughs> Sunday morning, the choir, emergency choir rehearsal. Just came and joined at the back. Now that's not how. And they, when they, when they, <laughs> emergency choir rehearsal by by nine 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 ten. <laughs> you know, I used to go on there after after I've been here for about an hour ten minutes. I will be here in an emergency choir rehearsal. Now, now, it's, excuse me. It's not those things. It's not those service that have not touched people's life that can preserve men. The service that can preserve you is the service that took your life. You rather than that way. So I said to avoid necessary sacrifices is to share covenant with death and what? And that is not our, des our destiny. Your journey might not continue in a right direction if you avoid the necessary sacrifice needed to bring you to your destination. I say, people, you cannot continue in a right direction where God is making demand on you, uh, demand or sacrifice for you in a particular season. You will truncate. It's not following a path that where God cannot be found. It's not your portion. I say it is what happened at the cross that made Jesus Christ the Son of God. It's beautiful what I'm about to explain. Huh? You cannot be important to God and God will not make the strong demand on you. It's not possible. When, when Jesus came as Son of God, he has to do something for God that only he can do. Just to authenticate the fact that he is God's Son. That he is a sharing burden with his Father. If you are important to God, he will make you to do something that is important to him. Saving man was important to God, so he brought his son to do it. So if God loves you, he gives you strong task. It will take a son of man to be crucified, son of God to die at the cross. And that what made him very important to God. That sacrifice only he can do for God. That thing only he can do for God is what made him important to God. That death only he can die for God. I said that. So I said the greatness of the great is in the sacrifice of their lives. Those who don't make sacrifice live on the sacrifice of others. Men who introduce their value to God Men introduce their value to God through sacrifice Men, you tell God who you are Through what you are giving Jesus said I am son so I died
For God to make demand on us is a sign that he loves us. One of the ways to estimate the value of men is through their reaction to the things of God, a special sacrifice. It is a way we react to sacrifice that it means our closeness to God. Why God share burden with important people? He give bread to hungry eaters. I say, why God share burdens? Share burdens with important people. He give bread to hungry eaters. Why God share burdens with important people? May you not be a, a hungry bread eater. I say, why God share burden with important people? He gives bread to what? Those who share burdens with God will never be separated from the things that are important to Him. Do you know tomorrow I'm going to be? Some people don't know that certain knowledge, certain knowledge, certain knowledge are living. They don't know living knowledge. That is knowledge that are human beings. Like what I'm sharing. We call them living knowledge. And it is a privilege of the Jews. You know, the difference between the Jews and the Gentiles is that the Jews, the Gentiles preach Bible without being involved. That's why we don't have men that have Bible life. But the Bible was written, was written from the life of men. Was it written from? Yes. But the Gentiles don't have life. So they read theoretical Bible. They make Bible theoretical. I say God will never separate. God will never be separated from things that are important to him. I say you can make it to the top. Help me tell somebody you can make it to the top. The steps that lead to the top are made in sacrifice. Can I get that by again? Sister, I'm sorry about the bothering you, but I don't trust my mind. Let me do it here. My brain. <laughs> I don't trust this. I, I can forget it if I when the meeting closes. The steps that lead to the top are made in sacrifice. People who refuse to pay to be at the top we eventually turn into servant of those who are at the top. People who refuse to pay. We serve those who paid. <laughs> That's how it is. They will eventually serve those that paid. God doesn't share glory with senseless, stingy people. Stinginess separates men from everything that is important to God. In fact, nothing stinginess in our heart is a sign that we've agreed to be abandoned by God. There's no relationship between God and stingy men. Since relationship is established through sacrifice. So, because the top is for you, you need to build your, your rising steps. Help me tell somebody, because the top is for you. You need to build your rising steps. I didn't hear you tell somebody else. Because the top is for you. You need to build rising steps. It's not somebody that will build it for you. Whatever men pay for God, will not deny them. Sacrifice is omnipotent in raising beggars from donkey to the place of God. God manifests ultimate power through sacrifice of men. It is through the sacrifice of men that God is palpably made part of the earth. How many of us know that, that men have to make sacrifice before God can come to the earth? 28th of the book of Genesis, you see there. Men must make sacrifices before God can come to the earth. Now, men must make sacrifices before God can be part of the earth. And then it is those that make sacri sacrifices that bring God to the earth, that represent the God they brought. That's why God takes the nature of sacrificial men to rule those who can make sacrifice. But meanwhile, it is God that determines who makes sacrifices. And it is also in that that means what men sacrifice. So I said, those who hate God will never make sacrifices.
The sacrifices of men make God part of the earth. God will never be part of the earth if men refuse to make sacrifices. Make necessary sacrifices. The altar of men are the dwelling places of God on earth. Altar. That is where God, if you look at 28, the Bible said, and there was God above it. I think I should look at one verse to help somebody. 28 of the book of Genesis. To help somebody who is Genesis 28. Just one verse. Just be getting ready. I'm about to start prayer again. Genesis chapter 8, verse number 10. It, it is quite beautiful. 10. And Jacob went out and, from yes, Beersheba and went towards Haram, number, number 11. And he lighted on a certain place and tarried there all night because, because the, the sun was set. Said, yes, and they took stones of that place and, and put them for a for his pillow. Lay down in that place to sleep. In and number he, 12. He dreamed and behold, a ladder set up on and the earth and a top of fish to the heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascended and descended. Look on at it. number 13 now. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord. Excuse God me, the Lord stood above that altar. Don't forget it. He stood above it. That means that God came to the earth and stood above the altar of a man and started declaring himself from the man that raised it. He said, I am the man that raised this. I am the God of the man that raised this altar. <laughs> He said, I am the God of the man that raised this altar. That means God is saying, I am like Abraham. You know, that's where the Bible is wrote. I walk through Abraham. I function through Abraham. That is God of Abraham. I function like Isaac. I pass through Jacob. That's why he couldn't pass through Esau. Because he thought Esau was you know, it's always, you can't talk about it. God will never separate him himself from sacrifices that are made to him. Great seasons are introduced through sacrifices. If you're here, you are tired of where you are now, then you should make a sacrifice. Sacrifice is different from give, giving of gift. Soon we will say give offering. I, I'm not, that's not what I mean. In the day of sacrifice, God tells you what he wants. I say being stingy is a sign that God is not with men. There is no stingy man that has God. No, it's not possible. Huh? God, cannot be, God cannot be with a man and that man is stingy. It's impossible. Stinginess is a great evil that shut God out. Of the lives of men, the altar of sacrifice is the throne of God. In 21, 3 and 4 of the book of Revelation, a tabernacle of God shall be there. That tabernacle is an altar. It's also a throne. So the face God wear to the earth is controlled by the sacrifice of men. There's no limit to all that can be achieved through sacrifice. It was the sacrifice of Jesus that made Christ part of the earth. For Christ to be part of, to be in this meeting now, a man has to die. For that Christ to be part of us. That's why I want to drink the blood of that man. So that the Christ can be part of us. Uh, we are drinking the blood of a man. Now. Does God have blood? <laughs> that's, why, that's why in the process of the communion, before you, you drink blood, you have to eat a man's flesh. To tell you that the man who owns this flesh, who owns this blood, is a human being. It's a human being like us. That's why we're eating physical blood, physical bread. My question is, is it only Jews that will be eating their body? Uh, is it not the, this, this millennium? Can't we, can't Africa change into bread? I, mean, I want to change into bread. I've decided. And God must grant me that. So that the Jews can be eating me in, 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 in Jerusalem. Arabians will be eating me. Excuse me, I must. You know, everybody has something that's important to him. Everybody. Maybe your one is important to you is a house. Maybe you want to get married. Maybe you want a car. Me, I want, only thing that's important to me is that I want to change into bread. <laughs> I 
as I want and I must. That's, that's the only prayer point I have on this earth. God, let me be a bread. Let the, let the, ra the rakis eat me. That's my only prayer, prayer request. And I, I will never have another, another prayer request. Huh? No, I don't want to have two prayer requests. I say rapture will continue Can I get it? Rapture will continue to delay. Rapture will continue to delay. Rapture will continue to delay until the chosen vessels make sacrifice to make the Lion of Judah part of the earth. Why the Lion of Judah has not come now? Because we have not paid. I said we have. No. We have not paid. Then I said when the Lion of Judah eventually comes, he will be found in the midst of those who make sacrifices to bring him to the earth. Huh? That's what the Bible said in John 1, 11. He came unto his own. He came unto those who make sacrifices. Huh? In Luke chapter 2, the moment that Jesus cried in the temple, Simeon could separate him from other children in that dedication. Because Simeon gave his life to wait. So God does not separate the life of people from what they pay for. Ah, if pain lasts very long, then somebody has paid for nothing. No. And uh, I have only one head in here to run through and then I'm through. Excuse me. Nothing is as evil as living without paying for something. Huh? It's like somebody is wasting his life. Can I say something to you? I don't care how much you love your children. Give the better part of you to God. And something positive will eventually happen for your children. Don't forget that you are a root that that means the destiny of your children. So God blesses your children from your valley. Let me say again. I say God blesses your children from your valley. He blesses your children from your valley. So if you become, it is not possible, it is not possible on earth for a valuable man not to produce children that have value. It's not possible. It's not possible. Aaron, Elias will come. Phinehas will come. Uri. Ah. Huh? Oh, that will be Uri. That will be Zelia. Abraham, that will be Isaac. Isaac, that will be Jacob. Jesse, that will be David. If you hear somebody like Eli produce orphan and finish house, there's something happened in that temple that the Bible didn't tell us about. E excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. A just man cannot produce vagabond children. I'm the one telling you. Try and listen. There's nothing else to hear. I say a just man. Ah? Ah? Not be from you, they came. Not be from you. Number one, seed of value and the environment. Huh? Man can stop Satan from entering into a family. Man. Man. It, it, Satan can never come upon the children of just men. It's not possible. How? There's no room. Even when they die, they can still control their children from the grave. If they are just... How can the son of a chest man smoke? It's impossible. The brightness of that man each time he visits dries hunger to smoke in the boy. If he's a dead man. It's 
Sometimes it's not even about training. It's about the seed of their value. Okay, we are here. And your son is here. And he continued this type of meeting until he's 20 years. And then he will have after his after he took communion from my hand every day for seven days. Grew up like that 10, 20 years. He now, he, he now want to he now want to smoke. What is the connection between him and, and cigarettes? It's impossible. There's no connection. The altar is a place of multiplication and dominion. All whose name, all whose names are sustained on earth as uh, okay, we are sustained on earth or are sustained on earth had good relationship with the place of sacrifice. God rules the earth from the altars of thrones. Excuse me, these things are not theory. They are not. They are not. The battle of the earth is a battle of altars. Altar versus altar. Because the strength of spirits are measured in the altar. Spirit measures strength before they start fighting. If that spirit doesn't fight, they will see the illumination and everybody will know his size. That is why there is no bigger sacrifice made on earth than, than the sacrifice of Jesus. There is no, no bigger sacrifice yet. So the church is the safest place. That's why at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow. That name, demons bow to that name because of the strength of that name. The sacrifice that brought that name. The sacrifice that is supporting that name. Can't you hold tenaciously to that name? To that name. The name. The miracle working name. Kings sustain themselves on the throne through sacrifice made at the altar that has the life and power of their thrones. Am I saying something? Huh? When Saul offended Samuel because the throne of Israel was established from the priesthood of Samuel, Samuel looked at Saul and said, you will never be a king in Israel. And walk away. Because the life of that throne was in the priestly anointing of some, you need, don't, please let me ask you to listen don't, don't recognize your source all the days of your life do that and the sources I mean the source of every man you know is a very sensitive place if it's very powerful become sensitive but the people who are careful will always be sensitive to their source Satan will not touch your life if you choose to live you cannot be maimed if you choose to be glorious but your destiny is in your hand that is why discovery is part of preservation know it discover how it functions and then connect if your if your family if your background is fighting you win the background and continue it is a wonderful thing to be a channel of multiplication to be sacrificial is to be a channel of multiplication I said to be is to be a channel to be sacrificial is to be a channel a channel of multiplication Jesus has to multiply bread and fishes because of the sacrifice he came sacrificial God depend on kings to preserve people and also depend on them to destroy people the theme of the program is is you know thrones our place, place of life and death relationship when jesus came he came to give life and then those who that refused him also died so he said as many as receive him he gave them power but those who rejected him also face eternal damnation so every king has two faces the face that saves and the face that kills All thrones have horns of preservation and also horns of destruction. Let me say this, this finally. 
our place in destiny is determined by our relationship with a particular throne that has our life. Our destiny is determined by our relationship with a particular throne that has our lives. Don't forget that sacrifice are not always forgotten. Are not always no, they're not. And then sacrifice it doesn't lose their strength. No, it doesn't. It doesn't it will never. Not even its efficacy. And am I really saying something? Am I saying something? When I'm looking, I saw the sun shone on the face of somebody. The sun shone. So the Lord said, This is a new season in the life of this particular individual. A new season, a time of new glory, a time of new awakening. God is coming to you as you do that you are just born. So it's a time of new birth. Thank you, Lord. Therefore, Lord, we have come to that threshing floor. A place of abundance of harvest. Time of heavy rain. A great reawakening. We fill your throne with your praise. There's no one like you. Jehovah Ebenezer. Thank you, Father. So our worship come to you. From age to age, you are God. Jehovah, we adore you. Hallelujah. Zakotolia Rapata Sakata. We honor you, Lord. We fill the heaven with your glory. We fill the earth with your honor. Somebody worship the King of Kings. God who created himself. Kele dirigi ezendi eze Ebi urumanya Wenye ndugi Ekele dirigi ezendi eze Father, Anama Obrani Tekesuni on Dukara on this altar. Bring to Likaye unto him that doesn't sleep. I speak this word of honor and word of prayer to your ear. Him that have seven ears. Seated upon the throne that is highly exalted. You are God. You are not like me. You are king. You rule all nations. I say to you through the blood of Jesus. That every power that speaks limitation. On this army because of the root. I'm asking you Lord. To destroy that power. Go to fire root. That fire root. I, I speak on your behalf. Based on the sacrifice of Jesus. To go to that fire root and scatter the limitation. Holding Christ, Christian. Scatter the limitation. Holding the locust army. I cast down fallen gods. I cast you down you fallen gods. You fallen gods that delay locust army. Delay my life. Wherever that evil was buried in covenant. Buried in my mother's family. I greed on dryness. Limit my life. Today by the force of the oath or sacrifice of Jesus. I speak my deliverance. Lord, I am ready to walk into what you are showing me. I take the, the chance this season has given me to say, Lord, I can see the limitation and I am tired of it. I see tribal limitation. I, I see a limitation that came from a, a particular people and an instruction and I will not be bound by it. Therefore, Lord, I lose my soul. I lose the soul of this assignment. 
Larato Sakatala Yama. Join your hand to hand and stand against Lucas Army. You drunk elders. I will not submit to your destiny. Every black demon, every blue evil powers. All you satanic manifestations that function through witchcraft. Every voice that speaks in that water. Every voice that speaks in that market. Every voice that accuses me. Accuses me to talk about where I came from. I can hear you. I cast you down from the heavens. I know my destiny. I refuse to be bound. I am a king like Jesus. And I will never be limited. I speak my new future. I receive emancipation. Therefore, oh God, answer. 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 Answer, oh God. Answer and fight against financial limitation. It is time for local summit to come at the center of Nigeria. Amen. It is time for local summit to come at the center of the world. Amen. And we will not be limited. Amen. Every financial limitation, every kind of ganging up against us, all that they plan against brothers, those who are dreaming dream. Those, those, those plans will never work. Amen. Those plans will never work. Amen. Joining hands together will never work. Amen. I break you, you ancient spirit. I destroy you, you witchcraft spirit. I judge you, you marine voice. Amen. I come against the spell of darkness. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every agreement made at the soul of the land. At the soul of the people against the honor of this season this is the last millennium i bring blood upon blood 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 blood touch 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 blood blood upon blood blood upon blood Blood touch blood, blood touch blood, blood touch blood, blood touch blood, blood touch blood. I scatter ancient agreements. I scatter it. I scatter ancient agreement in that region. In that region. In that region. Ola katana. Ola katiketa. Ola katikagaya. Ola gagagagaga. Ola katakataya katakata. Ola gagagagagataya. Ola gagagagayaga. Ola gagagagagagaga. Wait, wait. Every gang up against Lucas Army. Every gang up. Whatever they say, that is how it used to be. When an apostolic minister starts from that instruction, after some time they will disappear. We will not disappear. We will not disappear. Every other gang assembly, every other gang up in the realm of the spirit that bring these wishes to us. Lord, we reign over them in the week of thrones. We reign over them. Somebody say, I reign over my enemies. I crack down the limitations that get my brothers down. Can you begin to crack down limitations? I crack down limitations. I crack down the limitations. Lock at the limitation that get my brothers down. I crack it down. Regional limitations. I crack it down. I, I recognize you evil. I crack. I recognize you evil in the heavens. I crush you evil. I crush it. I crush my name is Chris Christian. I crush you will never reign in local sons. You will never reign. You will reign. You will not reign. You will not reign. What our fathers brought upon us, we never reign. We crack you down. I crack you down. I crack you down. I crack you down. Now, this night, I crack you down. I destroy family limitations. The spirit of death and poverty. The spirit of death. The spirit of poverty. Somebody scatter it. Scatter it. I scatter it. 
Listen, please, I want to beg you, Lucas, and you're watching me. Join me in this. I just have a burden for this army today. The, the time is already spent, and we're going, to, we're going to go here soon. I want you to pray this prayer seriously. You're going to pray it like I know you prayed it. You're going to say, Lord, I go into the realm of the spirit, and I speak against every opposition coming to this army every limitation coming to me in the realm of the spirit whether they are agreed they are coming from gods the gods our father serve that hate honor that is bringing mockery to the land that is bringing shame we judge that opposition in the realm of the spirit we burn down the sanctuary of those gods can i hear your prayer destroy oppositions we destroy those opposition Lord, we destroy every opposition. Come on to the locust army. Every spiritual opposition. Every spiritual opposition. Every spiritual opposition. By fire. By the blood of Jesus. By fire we crack it down. Every opposition, we destroy every opposition. Every opposition, every opposition coming from a land. Opposition coming from the land. Shut up, can I take a thought? Every opposition, every opposition, every opposition, every opposition coming from the land against the local government. Every opposition, we crush it. We crush opposition. Every opposition, opposition. Every opposition, fire. Every opposition against honor, every opposition against explosion, opposition against miracle, explosion against miracle. Every opposition against against dominion, every opposition against breakthrough, every opposition against honor. Jateta, akeme watawa. We cross up. Somebody scatter the altar of God. We cross the altar. The altar of God. The altar of God. We cross the altar. Every opposition. We cross the altar. Open your mouth. Cross the altar of God. Every opposition. Against our lives. Every opposition. Every opposition. We cross opposition. Every opposition. We cross 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 opposition. Jata decretata. We just the art of Gosa. We just the art of Gosa. Every opposition. Kote kote jitata. Leto koporota. Opposition against dominion. Opposition against honor. Against manifestation. I see opposition. Fire go against that opposition. Fire go. Fire go. Destroy it. Fire go. Fire go. 
position. Let fire go. Let fire go. Let fire go. Let fire go. I release lion edges to go. Let fire go. Against all positions. Let fire go. Ashkatata. Let the armies of heaven go. Let the armies of lions go. Let the armies of lions go. Against all positions. Oh, you angelic ego. Fly to the heavenly places at the fore. Fly around the nations. Fly around the nations. You angelic eagle of God. Fly to the deeps. By your horse, oh, your horse, cross down oppositions. Crack them down. In the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit. If you are positioned against Christ, Christ. Destroy your position. Destroy your position. Destroy your position. Destroy your position. Oppositions. Rebellious oppositions. Rebellious oppositions. Of fighters. Of fallen angels. Of demons. Of fighting angels. Fire. Someone position. destroy your positions in the heavenly places. The heavenly places of our family. The heavenly places of Lagos. The heavenly places. The heavenly places. The heavenly places of Lagos. We cross We cross Suppositions, we cross suppositions in the realm of the Shatata, in the Tatata, we cast them down, we cast them up, we cross it, we destroy it. Somebody release fire, okay, Tata, release fire, release fire, release fire, release fire. Against opposition, let them be fire, let them be fire, let them be fire, let them be fire. Oh, you are Santa, a greater, a greater, Shena Shena, Shena Shena, Shena Shena. I come to position, we are the Santa, we are the Oh, Lion of Judah, come into several ways at the fall. The fall to your positions. Satanic oppositions. We judge satanic oppositions. We judge satanic oppositions. We judge satanic oppositions. We judge. We judge. We judge. We judge. We crush them. 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 Satanic oppositions. Catch fire. Catch fire. Satanic opposition that sustain limitations, negative powers in the villages, powers of fallen gods. That's why, that's why, that's why, 
Passa fora e coça Oh, passa fora e coça Chate coça Chate coça Chate coça Chate coça Chate coça Chate coça Ai, é, te recar Ai, é, te recar Oh, tá, tá, tá Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, I release large number of lion angels. Go into the places, the eagle angels, this large wicked power. This night, this night, this night, this night, to move Locus Army forward, to move Chris Christian forward. This night, this night, opposition. Somebody release lion angels. Release eagle angels. Let the bulls go with their hearts. Knock them in the heavenly places. Tear down their altars. Let the altars be torn down. The altars must be scattered. The altars. The altars. Scatter 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 the altars. I scatter the altars. Positions. I scatter positions. I am 
Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, every negative power, any negative power that hates honor, honor, that fight against honor in my life, that fight against, that honor, fight against prosperity in my life, that fight against throne in my life, that fight against throne let that life. power be scattered. Let that power be Can scattered. I hear your prayer now? Let that power be scattered. Let that power be scattered. Let that power be scattered. That fight against honor, that fight against throne. Let that power be scattered. Let the pop is cut Let the pop is cut Let the power be cut Let the power. Let the pop is cut Every power that hit hunger. Every power that hit prosperity. That hit Krona. That hit Kishinpa. In my life. In the Shoko Shakata. Let the pop is cut Let the power be cut Shut up! 
Ekradoshka, 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 we're going to pray so lord i end the hour of lack in my life in a week of thrones that if this week is a purple week through through that the hour of lack poverty listen we must we must end it we must disagree with it and then end it whatever we disallow here this night will be disallowed in heaven the hour of financial limitation of walking up and down trekking we end it we're going to pray that prayer that you know that's the last prayer i will serve the meal and then close the meeting that is your last prayer for this morning they're going to say lord i willingly end the hour of lack the hour of poverty i end it with my life i, I judge it. the angel now I end it. fire will consume it I end it. can i hear your prayer the now the hour of lack i willingly end it this morning listen why you're ending the hour of lack in the b part whatever the money in your account we multiply you will say lack i end you and then you will say money multiply you will say it and hear yourself you will say it even if you don't believe in it say it first must you believe you be god now you the do am i said now you the do am if no beauty they do and then say it and leave it for god say i end the hour of poverty i end the hour of poverty the hour of lack the hour of lack and then i multiply the money in my hand I multiply the money in my and hand. i ask you to go ahead I now i end the hour of lack i end the hour of poverty i willingly end it this morning i end it this morning willingly i end the hour of lack i end the hour of poverty Le cobra que chata gata, ai comando money wa tanto mucho bla, chapa da yo chata gata, ai ate awa of laca, je cobra que tata tata, le o chuta parata, o pagata, o to chegesha, 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 ai ate cha I am the 
Somebody command that money your account to multiply. Multiply. Command that money to multiply. Command that money to multiply. I command that money to multiply. Let the locusts of me multiply. Multiply by fire. Multiply. 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 Because that prayer is answered. Can you wave your hand and give him praise for answer to prayer? Nothing will remain the same. Thank him. Begin to talk to him again and say, Lord, as I eat your body, drink your blood. Everything good around me will multiply. Everything good. Can you go ahead and begin to speak to him? Lord, as I eat your body, drink your blood. Everything good around me will multiply. Everything good will multiply. Everything good we multiply. Lord, as I eat your body, drink your blood. Everything good we multiply. Everything good around me we multiply. As I eat your body, as I drink your blood, everything good around me we multiply. Everything good around me, around the locust and the shamato shagada. As we eat your body, as we drink your blood. As we eat your body, as we drink your blood, everything good will multiply. Everything good will multiply. Shasha kapo, 
Joshua or Kana Kemeta, Lekri Takabaha. As we eat your body, drink your blood, everything good. In the name of Jesus. If you're here, your children are sleeping, make sure you wear them up to take the meal. There is no night. Lift your hand with me. Save me, Lord Jesus. I'm about to eat you in meal form. Eat your broken body that I might be like you. I recognize the bread as your body. Therefore, as I eat, the spirit that multiplies fishes and barley bread in the wilderness shall multiply everything good in me. There is no iniquity in me. There is no trespass. My sins are pardoned because I am totally redeemed. Therefore, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, as your people eat you in bread, let them live forever. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. I, I thought somebody would shout a loud amen. stretch your hand covenant to God with the miracle of this season throne week is a serious week Lord as I drink my your blood I and my family shall be rulers you see what you're saying can you say it out I and my family shall be rulers father the blood of power that bring throne from people as we drink we are enthroned that everything good around us shall multiply small money shall turn into billions people who are not blessed shall be abundantly blessed let the blood speak for your people forever the blood that make immortal in the name of God the Father Son Holy Spirit Jehovah, O Digo Nedikagi, Jehovah, O Digo Nedikagi, Ese. Jehovah, O Digo Nedikagi, Jehovah, O Digo Nedikagi,
Can you run out and uh, pour this? I want it clean. Pour the sand out. Can you take up your offerings? Band, you're going to make it hot. Amen. Can we go ahead and lift up our offering and turn to God about it? Say with me, Lord Jesus, with this offering in my hand, I declare the kingship, the kingship of my life. I declare the kingship of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord, for this is the seed of my enthronement. Thank you because I am enthroned in Jesus' mighty name. Can you say amen? I hear yourself. ordination mass ordination if you put your mantle can you begin to talk in tongues zeketele kopotoskele zentoli ara they will just put mant listen they just put mat you give you oil and you dip it and you drop it on your head and then you put a crown that thing is not a mantle it's just a crown already 
Scared to Maka, you go ahead. The oil is coming. That is our last part this morning. Naske to Liara Kapatos. Zegla do Meskena. Zegre de Kopatos. Nazeke to Maskadia. Zegre Kopatuskele. Nagre God of Santa. Zubreganuski. Just your finger, grace cup of the oil of ordination in a kingly week. Zekla Tula, the anointing to rule. Zegadula Krana Baba. Just put your finger. And Yes, Lord. The oil of kingship. Somebody declare your kingship. Declare your kingship. Lay your hand on your mantle. I'm going to declare your kingship. I declare my kingship. I am a king that will never die. I am a king that will never die. A king that will never die. I am a king that can die. A king that can die. I am an immortal king. I am an immortal king. Somebody speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Run to Sakata. Ruskete liarakapata. Manda kapata. Sovereign and Kratos kala. A king that we reign forever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Lord. Zankotos kalaba. I am as can you can you go ahead? Can you go ahead? Marakapata. A king that can die. A king that can die. I don't have grief. I can be poor. I can be poor. I can be poor. I can be poor. A king that will never die. So pray the dosko. In the name of Jesus, Father, the mantle, that crown on our head, Amen. we speak forever. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You just may be seated for a short time. The relevant books are still here to help you go on the mystery of the third day. Are you clapping your hand? There is a throne in a sealed book. Somebody, are you jamming your hand? You are indestructible. From manger to the throne. Somebody, did you clap? Hallelujah. I want to announce this good news. Um, 
the building committee chairman called me in the morning and said the people have accepted our bidding. So, so any any time from now we are taking this land. Somebody jam your hand. I, I said in my heart, I said taking the taking that fence to the other side and to this other side is it, it will fit us. It will just fit us. <laughs> It will really fit us. You know, to, to paint that place white and blue to the other side. I want that blue, you know, it will fit us. Praise God. Huh? Huh? And then extend the light. It will fit us. Move this light from here to the other this side. Dwarf walls everywhere. <laughs> dwarf walls. <laughs> what is the dwarf walls doing? <laughs> Amen. Amen. By the time we roof here, put ceiling in one month, uh, it will be like dream. These things are happening at the same time. Put your hand together for Jesus. So those who who are still owing the money that we're using paying. <laughs> we have shouted that money is still important. <laughs> so let's redeem our vows so that when they say we should pay, we can pay everything. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> Put your hand together for, for police. Police is a different person. Uh, police is a great man. Let's go. He's just walking it. I mean, it's a gift to us. Can I ask you to rise? Can you thank God? The two is gone. Can you thank God? Can you thank God? The two of this meeting is gone. All right, stretch your hand. On this, pastors, remember that and intercessors, the fire will burn here by nine. Nine to three, six hours. Amen. Stretch your hand and bless these tools. Father, these tools are made powerful to bring miracles to us, everyone. In the name of God the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Can you say amen and hear yourself? Amen. Now, hold on with somebody. And lift the hand above your head. Father, I, I release the people to go. Go out of the gate and rule. Let the angels of the altar empower the people. Protect the people. I say God will give you testimonies. Before you come back in the night, testimonies will be everywhere. Can you say a big amen and hear yourself? Father, spectacular things you will do in the week of thrones. Thank you for doing them. 
in Jesus mighty name Amen. say to that your neighbor goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life you will dwell in your house and God's house now and forevermore blessed be the name of the Lord the Lord the almighty creator of heaven and earth through the blood of his son redeem us from our sins from all nations, temple and tribes of the earth and made us kings and priests to him be glory and honor and praise and thanksgiving amen, amen. tell somebody it's a day of miracle tell your neighbor you need to enjoy it you say yeah 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 thank you thank you